Hey, Chantal here from Nerdy Mama. I am incredibly excited to share with you today how to make a cloud shelf to go with your cloud toilet paper holder that we made last week. So you guys, stay tuned. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying this video and let's do this. So I started by just kind of using the leftover pieces I decided not to use that I had drawn for the uh, cloud toilet paper holder <laughs> and that really was easy but basically you just get a round thing and draw you out what you want to do so then you get to cutting and then there's just a lot of sanding so much sanding Once I had the primary shelf itself kind of cut out and sanded ready to go, I decided to make the backing identical to it. Um, so I just laid it on it on one side and then flipped it over, laid it on the other, and then made sure those two sides met up and would have kind of the space and give that 3D effect. And then I drew in kind of the center, the, the where the shelf will sit in the center of those two so that I don't forget it later. And then it was time for more cutting and more sanding. So after it was all sanded, I pre-drilled some holes in that area that was kind of the center where the shelf itself will sit. Then I threw down some super glue, put the shelf there in the middle, flipped it over, and screwed in um, just a handful of drywall screws, no big deal, just to kind of keep it in place. That super glue ought to work just fine. I'm not planning on putting anything super heavy on this shelf, but just in case, a couple screws never hurt. Now, I decided to hit it hard with bright white. Uh, I think that's most cloud-like in my estimation. And that was a lot of paint, but it really worked out well. Uh, I didn't want to use stain or anything. It really takes away from the idea of it being a cloud. Once I had done a couple of coats of white, it was time to put on my gold lining just like I had done for my cloud toilet paper holder. I don't know why this amuses me so much to have a gold lining instead of a silver lining. You guys, I, it just cracks me up. I can't stop giggling about it.
Now, I was struggling with the idea of how to get the shelf up straight so that the shelf itself was level with such an odd shaped back. So I just took a ribbon, because we were actually doing Christmas gifts at that point in time. I just took a ribbon, wrapped it around it, and then used that as, made sure it was straight against the actual shelf, and then used that as my guide for where to put these cute little keyhole, um, I don't know, hardware thingies that turn your giant hole into a keyhole and make it so that the shelf has real good attachment to the wall. So basically just drill large enough holes to kind of give yourself space with the uh, screws that are going into the actual wall and then the little hardware will cover up your bigger hole so that you rely on that hardware to actually make the connection. So rather than you having to get your router out and actually drill a keyhole, this hardware does it for you, right? It's so cool, I love it. And um, besides that, um, it's just, I was a little worried about getting my router out and getting the depth wrong and punching through the wood. I felt like I would have a little bit more control this way. So win-win. Now I thought it'd be a good idea to do a dab of wood glue on the end of these little tiny hardware screws and it worked out. I didn't get shots of hanging it on the wall, but you get the idea. Um, it's two screws in the wall and bam, you're done. Check it out. You guys, that was so easy, right? So fast, so quick. It took me way longer than necessary because I was totally filming it. Long story. If you guys enjoyed this, please be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell down there at the bottom because that's what YouTube really cares about. And hey, you guys, these are kind of the projects that I'd like to do. But if you have any ideas that you would like to kind of throw out there and see me do, uh, take a swing at, please feel free to leave them in the comments because I would love to know what you guys actually want to see. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Bye.